Hey guys, Isaac here, and I'm sorry I haven't done a tutorial in a couple of days. I'm back on doing them now. Reason being, like I said before in my last one, my computer got broke, so I've been trying to fix that and doing schoolwork. And just today, Isaac and Dubs, my other account with like 1.6 plus K, got hacked. So, utter bullshit, but whatever. So, I'd appreciate, appreciate it even more if you guys favorite it and like this video. Right, I'm on After Effects and today I'm going to teach you the flicker effects, what you saw in the video before this, and not the twixt or anything like that, just the flicking effect. If you haven't, if you still don't know what I mean, go to the beginning of the video, look at it, and you'll see this sort of flicking effect. That's what we're going to be trying to make. Um, a lot of big editors like Agony use this, so yeah. So when you've opened After Effects, you want to create a new composition, like we always do, with uh, all the usual settings and you just want to import a clip so for example I'll just import the clip what I used at the beginning you want to drag it down onto the timeline and this is just exactly what the clip was just you know a spin and then jump off now this has not been in Sony Vegas and the edges have not been cropped out as you can see there's black lines so I highly highly recommend you go in Sony Vegas you know disable resample and all that stuff take the little black lines out uh, okay so now what we want to do is go effect and then go down to something called magic bullet misfire now there has been a lot of dispute on how to get this but I'm sure that you'll be able to find it I cannot link you I'm not allowed to but if you type it on YouTube how to get this you should be able to find it or type it in on Google it's not that hard it's called magic bullet misfire there's a lot of trials going around and I'm sure you know of other ways to get it if you know what I mean but go type it in YouTube or, or on uh, Google and all you want to do is install that into your plugins folder and if you've done that you want to go on magic bullet misfire and then go down to something called flicker click on it and what it does is it comes up with the uh, flicker up here but just to make things easier you press a drop down arrow on the timeline go down to effects go down to the flicker and this is basically uh, the frequency means how uh, fast I think hold on the flicker amount is how many flickers there is and the frequency is how how much it does it if you know what I mean so I'm just gonna put this down to zero and I'm gonna go along to sort of where he jumps off now if you see saw on the video before I actually used Twixter so he would jump off here and then I use Twixter like there so just uh, to save time I'll just roughly around there we want to add the frequency and the flicker amount up so the flicker actually starts to work so you want to stop watch it here still on zero you want to go forward one frame and I usually use what the recommend is it recommended is although some people would do about 30 so you can either do about 30 that means it's a lot less flicker but it's still really fast or you could do about 50 so I'm just gonna do 50 and the amount is like how fast it does it I guess so I'm just gonna put this down to about sort of 10 and that's all you really need to do and then for example if you want to stop it again you just go forward to where you want it to stop you would then click the little diamond over here on both of them go forward one frame and turn this down to zero again so basically you've got nothing 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 flicker 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 nothing so I'll try and see what this looks like I'll put it down quality but let's see what this looks like if I can uh, RAM preview it really quickly so as you can see it's loading uh, just wait a second um, while this is loading my next tutorial is going to be on how I got that sexy sexy color correction on the bit before this and probably on how I got the um, really smooth twixter because I know a lot of tricks for that so it's loaded now and now you can see well obviously the uh, flicker wasn't on there so you can't really see it that much but you can see it sort of happening there also a nice dark color correction needs to be on the uh, video for it to work at optimum sort of you know for, for it to work at, at its best so I hope you like this tutorial guys uh, I'm a bit stuttery because I've only just uh, got back to doing tutorials so yeah please uh, like and comment and do all that good stuff see you later